Hi, my name is Kuhn Slechten and today I will guide you through HP Image Assistant. We can get this free tool from HP. It's for free, so you can install it on any HP commercial unit. Uh, when would I use it? I would use it when you have a computer that's giving you issues. You can very fast check actually if you have all the latest drivers and if you have the latest BIOS version. You can get HP Image Assistant from www.hp.com slash go slash client management and then look for Image Assistant. From there you can download the latest version and you can also check here to see which are the supported platforms and when the last reference was updated. If you run the installer you can click next, then read to the license agreement accept it and click next then you have the location where you want to extract the files best thing to do is to copy this path also um, because you have to run it later from there on and then you can finish the installation wizard now you have to go to the path where you extracted all the files you will see this uh, directory of HP image assistant and there you can run the HP Image Assistant.exe. Okay, going over the configuration, the first time we launched it, you will get to see this screen. You can click now on Analyze to check your computer status towards what's advised by HP. He will look it up on uh, the internet and then he will give you an overview on which drivers are out of date and some security settings and also which BIOS settings are different compared to what HP is advising in the labs. On the upper left corner you can click on tools and there you can capture the target image configuration or you can change the proxy configuration. If you need to enter proxy settings to get access to internet you need to enter it here. You can also change the language so we have different languages that we do support and on the help you can visit the forum to check out if you have a specific issue or question concerning this tool. You can also go directly to the supported platforms and check the version of the HP Image Assistant. So when we have analyzed our computer towards what's advised by HP, we can see for instance in the recommendations that there are different updates on BIOS or on video drivers available and we can select them now one by one or we can select them all and download it. You can also select only the critical ones or select only the ones that are distributable via SSM. When you click on the download button you can still choose where you want to download them so you can enter the path over here and you can also choose if you want just to download the soft packs, the drivers or if you want to download, extract and install the drivers. So that's really useful. He will then download all the drivers and install them one by one. Now some drivers cannot be installed and then you will get an overview on how you need to install them. And also you will see here the options to silent install a specific driver. On the driver pane you can see all the drivers that are installed and also which device ID, vendor ID for instance. On the upper side you can filter some drivers. So you can say I want only the ones that are out of date and missing or the ones that are for instance different with what HP is advising. You can also save all this information as a CSV file which might be handy if you want to compare some things. In the installed software you can see all the software that's installed and also there you can save it or filter it out. On the security, that was a demand from many customers to see all the certificates. So here we listed up all the certificates that are available on this unit and also the basic settings like Windows Firewall, Antivirus, Spyware and BIOS Password. On the firmware tab we can see the firmwares uh, that are in the system available like the Intel ME. Also a Thunderbolt will be available if you have a Thunderbolt firmware in your unit like the 1012. You can see it here. 
if you want to see the Thunderbolt firmware version of your docking station, the docking station must be connected, of course, and then it will also appear over here. Here you can check out the BIOS settings of your system, and you can also see what's different from the HP Labs on your system. Now it might be because of specific reasons that you want to have uh, other BIOS settings than HP is advising. Some practical tips about this tool. So what you actually can do, you can capture this unit's configuration. Um, therefore you have to go to Tools and then Capture Charged Image Configuration. And then he will actually save all the settings of this machine to a file, an XML file. You can open it and read it through. Or you can um, go to another unit with this file, also install HP Image Assistant. And then as a first step you can choose a target image from that XML file. And the second you can choose your own computer. And in this uh, way he will analyze actually the differences between the two computers. This is very handy, specifically if you have one unit that's giving a specific issue and the other one is not. So then you can see very easily what are the drivers that are different on the both units and also BIOS settings and firmware, etc. A second thing we incorporated in this HP Image Assistant is a um, tool to check if your unit is ready for an operating system migration. Or it might also be if you want to migrate to Windows 10, most likely. You can see what are the most logical steps to take in order to get there. So in the Migrate OS tab, you can choose your system, also the operating system where you want to go to, and then which PE version and TPM version you have, or you would like to. Then you can analyze, and then he will actually propose you which step you need to take in order to go to Windows 10 on that uh, configuration. So the first step is to backup user data. HP does not have got a solution for that, but there are plenty available in the market. Then second, you need to create the Windows PE image, and you can download the driver pack from this link for your unit. And then you have all the following steps, and in the end you will get to Windows 10 on the unit with the correct and HP Advice drivers. So wrap up, we can get this free tool from HP from www.hp.com slash go slash client management and then look for image assistant. It's for free so you can install it on any HP commercial unit. Uh, when would I use it? I would use it when you have a computer that's giving you issues. You can very fast check actually if you have all the latest drivers and if you have the latest BIOS version. So use it, it's for free, it can really help you in these cases.